36 hour fast challenge annihilated. We are down to a 39 hour fast, aiming for a 40 hour fast. The goal was to go 36, but I knew I wanted to push it to 40 based on when I started my fast. I started my fast at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I knew if I started my fast that way, I can get away with a 40 hour fast fast. So I'm super excited to be making that metabolic switch. My skin is back to glowing and back to looking not my age, looking significantly younger. So that's a win. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Deanna Joy and I've lost the majority of my weight using this style of fasting known as one meal a day, which is all it is is just compressing your calories within a four hour eating window where you're fasting minimum 20 hours a day. On my weight loss journey, I've had the most success while making the metabolic switch. I have struggled with metabolic disease. I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. I had issues with my pancreas. I had high blood pressure and the whole lot, but all of that is slowly reversing. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds and the magic diet for me has been the keto diet. A high fiber, lots of vegetables, hashtag stuff your fate with vegetables, keto, Genic diet. It's been pivotal on my weight loss journey. Whether I did keto on its own, whether I did keto with OMAD, it's helped me out tremendously. This is my OMAD transformation. I used OMAD as a tool to help me restrict binge eating. After getting into a car accident, I suffered a lot of injuries. I suffered a head in injury, couldn't sleep for months, was in chronic pain a lot, and I was out of control with my binge eating because I didn't know how to cope with life until one meal a day came and saved me. And fasting too. I also did extend fasting while doing one meal a day. I did a lot of 48s and whatnot, but I'm learning the power of the 36. 36 is more than enough to get yourself unstuck on your weight loss journey. There's no need to push to these higher levels of fasting all the time. People think the more you fast, the better. No, you got to do this not harder, but you got to play smarter. So if you're interested in learning about weight loss, how to lose weight using the metabolic switch, one meal a day, fasting, and the whole lot, hit that subscribe button and come join the fam. So speaking of which, the most important part about fasting is your diet. What, am I, what I mean by that? So many people fast and then go off their diet after a fast. It is stupid to me to go into like an extended fast and then go eat junk food. Why would you do that? You're counteracting all of the metabolic healing you just did, healing your mitochondria, reducing your blood sugar levels, keeping your body in a stable state. Why would you go eat junk food? I think it is so important to use a fast to help reset your taste buds, to help kick you, kickstart yourself in a way that you're gonna go and eat high fibrous, healthy foods, whole foods, because that's what we want to do. And that is the best way to lose weight and keep it off, is to learn how to eat these types of foods. I always say a fast doesn't count if you can't keep the weight off afterwards. It's important to eat properly. So in this video today, I'm going to share with you how I am breaking my fast, what I'm going to be eating during this breaking of the fast. Right now, it is about 6.49 a.m. in the morning. And yes, I'm in exactly, I'm almost 40 hours into the fast. I'm at 39 hours and 22 minutes minutes. If you can see that, the ring light's getting in the way, but that's where I'm at. I'll take a screenshot so you guys can see it right here. So I've got my macros and calories set. I've got a meal kind of plan set up. So I'm ready to kick off this little breaking my fast adventure. And I'm not really hungry. I've been noticing through this fast, I'm getting a lot of neck and shoulder pain. Um, I suffered a neck injury, a head injury and all that in the accident. It has taken me two years to heal this knee. The knee is still work in progress um, and my hip, but it's taken me two years to get to a point where I feel like I'm not struggling. And I gotta be proud of myself because a few weeks ago, I was able to run for the first time in two years. And a few weeks ago, I was able to walk around without wearing K-tape. I was wearing a knee brace for like two years straight. It's been a rough journey, but my resilience, I have to be proud of myself. And I hope it's rubbing off on you that no matter how many times you fail, no matter how many obstacles are in your way, never, ever, ever give up on yourself. Success will always come to a willing heart. And unfortunately in life, working hard is the way to get. I shouldn't say unfortunately, because it is through the journey of working hard that you evolve. It is through the journey of working hard that you win. It's the journey that you win 
and that you evolve in. Just remember that mindset. Stop with the quick fix mindset because you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna be yo-yoing yourself up and down for years and years on end. We wanna like correct this and we wanna overcome. But during the fast, I felt neck pain and shoulder pain. I'm feeling it now. So that tells me that there's still a lot of healing going on and I was getting headaches, but it's all good. I'm dry fasting right now and I'm very thirsty. I wanna go on the scale and weigh myself. Last time I checked, I was about four pounds down. So I'm thinking it will be another five pounds. But anyway, I'm going to head to the grocery store very quickly, grab some probably more fruits, and I am going to break this fast. Here at the ass crack of dawn. Anyway, let's go inside and get these groceries. It won't be a lot of groceries. It's just going to be a few vegetables. It is way too early for this. The store literally just opened. It's like 7 a.m. in 7.01 in the morning. But spent $27, got some arugula, because I remember Dr. Mindy Pals was talking about some spinach in all the colors of the rainbow when it comes to peppers. So let's get that done. I'm probably gonna get my son to school first. Okay, it's a little bit more quiet in here, but I'm probably gonna get my son to school first and then I'm gonna break my fast because I gotta get him to school by like 7.45 a.m. But this is feeling good. Um, I don't know why I'm dry fasting through this <laughs> because I don't want the scale to be affected. But the power of fasting is that it just really, really helps us in this day and age, an age where we're full of, you know, refined carbohydrates, which are so good, so addicting. You want to avoid refined carbohydrates. So those are carbs that are processed. So the exact definition of a refined carbohydrate is, I'm going to read it directly from my phone here, is a carbohydrate that has gone through a manufacturing process that removes most of its nutritional value. This means you lose out on the fiber, which is so important. You lose out on the vitamins, the minerals, and the polyphenols. Some common sources of refined carbohydrates include white bread, white rice, ultra processed snacks like potato chips and candy. So examples of refined carbohydrates, I think this is more common sense than anything, is things like white bread, Italian bread, bagels, rolls, bun wraps, English muffins, pastries, cookies, cakes, muffins, certain cereals, Breakfast foods like waffles and pancakes, white flour crackers, pretzels, pizza dough, and white rice. 
all of the yummy foods, right? So I know it's mentioned white rice a few times, but white rice is a tricky one because for me, white rice does not bother me. I know a lot of bodybuilders use white rice to cut, like rice, chicken, broccoli, and rice. Um, I personally use basmati rice. I don't know if that's any different than regular rice because it's more of an ancient kind of style of rice, but white rice doesn't bother me. Some people it might, but anyway, all the yummy foods are all the foods that we kind of need to avoid, but we can do this in a way because the French are able to have their pastries and what, and you know, it's all about blanketing your carbs, sandwiching your carbs with protein, sandwiching your carbs with fiber, which is key. As long as you stuff your face with vegetables, it's a win. Like my friend was telling me the other day, she saw a clip and she was trying to send it to me. She talked about how someone said they cooked their rice in coconut oil. And when you cook it in the coconut oil, it kind of makes 70% of it get deferred to our gut microbiome, which makes sense because coconut is one of the high fiber fruits I listed in my little fiber video. If you wanna check out there, I did an OMAD, how to get in fiber on an OMAD diet and how to get in fiber in general. You can see those videos linked in the art card above and that makes sense. So I'm gonna see, hopefully she can find it. If not, I'm gonna do research on it. But the key to all of this is blanketing the quote unquote unhealthy foods with superpower foods that are going to divert those calories to our gut microbiome and of course eating things like protein protein's going to help tremendously but yeah anyway let's go home and get this fast done all right we are about to eat a rainbow i gotta cook my keto breads yes the keto breads are technically processed or refined carbohydrates but this carbon out bread doesn't bother me. It is so high in fiber that it doesn't even matter. All right, on this fast, I lost a total of 4.6 pounds. Um, but the weight's not really my concern here. My concern is focusing on my nutrition as always. I dry fasted for 12 and a half hours, almost 13 hours. I'm about to break my dry fast right now. So I dry fasted from 7.30 till now. Um, I just did it. So a good 12 hour dry fast in there. So let's break the dry fast. I'm going to need to hydrate myself like crazy because I will be going to the gym very soon. So just wanted to touch base with you guys on that. And now we're going to break the actual fast very soon. I am currently at, well, we might as well do that in the kitchen. I lied. We're just going to break the fast here because I have my filming set up and I don't feel like moving things around, but eat a rainbow, anybody? Lots of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me remove the bread, but there is all the colors of the rainbow right there. All of the peppers, the bell peppers. I got every color of the bell pepper in there, unless there's some weird one. Three eggs, two carbonate bread with um, some sugar-free jam on there. Macros and calories for the meal will be on the screen. I have it all written down, but I haven't entered it into my whatever I'm using. I'm not sure what app I'm using. So we are going to break my fast at 40 hours and 51 minutes. And no, I'm not waiting for 41 hours. Why? I just, I have stuff to do. I got to go to the gym. So that's kind of important. Breaking my fast. Actually, we're going to break it with the vegetable, not the bread. We're going to follow the, um, the rule here. Break it with fiber. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna eat my vegetables first. Very good, mm. so good. Mm. Then we'll eat the um, the eggs, and then, and then we'll have the bread. Even though it's like a high fiber keto bread. We'll do the vegetables first because the vegetables will protect, will divert everything to my gut microbiome. This is the food order hack. And if you want to even get your blood sugars down even further, have it with apple cider vinegar as my vegetables fall. Mm -hmm. All right, that was an awesome way to end that 40 hour fast. I'm a day removed from the fast and I'm only up like 0.8 pounds, which is a-okay. That means I am doing the damn thing. If you made it this far in the video, just drop in the word autophagy and I'm sending you guys my love. Take care, bye.